Hello, welcome to your spiritual liaison where the truth will be told. Make sure that you get your affirmations on through meditation and I'm sorry, through meditation and you can manifest through meditation as well. You already know that. This is a Pisces reading. Happy birthday, Pisces. Happy belated birthday to the Pisces whose birthdays already passed. <laughs> and um, welcome my, to my cross washers. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and share for the video, okay? And hit that notification bell. Anything that you need to know about me or my video is in the description box below. Uh, and let's get started. The Ten of Cups is the first cup that came out. So Pisces, somebody could be wanting a family with you or a family life with you. Um, they could be wanting to move in with you or want you to move in with them. Uh, and build a better relationship. Come on, spirit. What you want us to know? Come on, spirit. Come on, spirit. What do you want us to know? Yeah, page of wands. Yeah. Be optimistic. They're being, in, or they could be being optimistic about getting you and, you know, getting you back into their life or someone who is trying to get um, you in their life. Um, it's about being courageous, too. So this energy spirit, what would you like for us to know? This energy could be saying that you need to, the two of cups, somebody is definitely trying to come in and offer you some sort of love, some sort of abundance, some sort of happiness, some sort of family life. Mm -hmm. This is a person who could have, this could be a um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could be an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, or this could be a Leo. Mm-hmm. Somebody's trying to offer you some love, Pisces. Let me, Spirit, what would you like for us to know? The Fool card. Mm -hmm. But it came out in the reverse. This person could have felt like a fool for messing over you, Pisces. This could be somebody from the past who did not treat you. <laughs> who did not treat you right. And I'm not laughing at the situation, but I just know how, you know, karma works. And so they could be trying to come back. You could have wanted a family with this person. You could have want, wanted the whole nine. Family, house, kids, everything. And they did. They could have been the person who did not want that before. But I think once you... you it looks like you kind of went off on your own journey. You, you found the, the courage to move on from this individual. You found the courage to say, you know what? Enough is enough. I'm out of here. Um... Love you, but I'm going to take my heart with me and I'll see you in another lifetime. <laughs> but this person wants to come back to offer you something. They want to offer you some sort of love, some sort of connection, something that they feel like would um, make things right. You know, some sort of romance with you. Because they feel like a fool for what they did. They feel foolish. Because of what they did to you. They know what they did was wrong. They know it. Spirit, what would you like for us to know? Spirit, what would you like for us to know? Spirit, what would you like for us to know? The emperor. Yeah, this person could have been someone who likes a lot of attention. They're in the public eye. Or they know how to get attention. Like, or they get a lot of attention maybe from their friends and family, on the job or something. But this is a person who definitely loves a lot of attention. And it could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Aries um, energy. Or they could have that in their chart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Spirit, what would you like for us to know? Spirit, what would you like for us to know about Pisces person? Spirit, what would you like for us to know about Pisces person? Uh, Pisces, yeah, this, this person is feeling foolish. The nine of wands. The nine of wands. You could, you could have a lot of opportunities coming your way now. So many opportunities that you don't know what to do. Or either this person had a lot of, a lot of opportunities in there, you know, in there, like coming at them. But it's about if this is the nine of wands is about like being happy about what you have. Like knowing that things are coming, but you're ready for whatever comes your way, though. You definitely are. But this person could have easily had like a lot of different um, options. 
before, but they feel foolish because they could have chose another option over you. And they're feeling like a straight up fool right now. They're like, wait a minute, hold on. And but they want to try to come back. Pisces, if you haven't already heard from this person, you're about to hear from them. They're going to try to come back so they can try to offer you some sort of love because they feel they feel like they made a mistake. They know that the fact that they need all of this constant attention was a played a, a role in you all separating. Yeah. The Six of Pentacles. You could have been giving a lot to this individual. You could have been, and, and it could have been because they like may have been in a situation where they were like playing a bunch of games and saying that you, and, and it doesn't necessarily have to be like money or anything. You could have been giving them a lot of your time. You could have been giving them a lot of attention, a lot. And you know, time is something you can't get back. So for me, that's more valuable than money. But um, it's just this, but it's something, it's something about you you getting some sort of good karma for what you did in the past. So some sort of debt that you paid, some sort of um, helping someone in their time of need. And it could have been this individual and they could have gotten very cocky or arrogant. You know how people get, you know, but they could have got real, real cocky and arrogant. Like when you were helping them and kind of like letting it go to their head. But the whole time, like it, you were um, getting that good karma you know, like building those good karma coins. And so something else is going to come in for you that you're going to be very happy about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's going to, you're going to have a lot of options too. A lot of opportunities, maybe so many, you don't even know how to, what to choose from. Mm-hmm. So be optimistic, Pisces. And if this person comes back, you know, you can always say that you want to be with them or whatever. Or I didn't, I said if they come back, but they are definitely coming back because they feel, they feel stupid for the decisions that they made. Okay. And the justice card, mm -hmm. some sort of justice was served. Yeah. This could be um, somebody with Libra in their chart, but some sort of justice was served. Um, it could also be again, an Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. Some sort of justice was served, though. Yeah. Something is going to balance itself out or already has balanced itself out. Spirit, what would you like for us to know? Spirit, what would you, mm, Spirit, what would you like for us to know? Seven of Pentacles. So if you have already put in the hard work, you've moved on from this person, you put in the hard work, um... To try to just get whatever you need to get yourself back balanced in your life... You don't have to sit and watch it grow like a plant. No matter how much you watch it, it's not going to grow any faster. Um, <laughs> you can do things like put it in the sun. You can put, you know, water water it a little more, change the soil. You can do things like that. But if you've already did all you can do, you know, and that this could also be to work on yourself. But like watching something is not going to make it grow faster. Like you don't have to worry about things do what you're supposed to do for yourself and then it'll it, it's if it's meant to come it's going to come know that four cups yeah somebody you could have a new opportunity coming in and because you're so focused on what has happened what happened between you and this individual or you and these people you aren't even accepting new opportunities so don't block yourself Pisces don't do that like don't just start rejecting stuff because you know, you were going through a whole, uh, like a lot of turmoil or something. And then we have the five of wands and it's in, in, in reverse. So yeah, it looks like it was a bunch of bickering and stuff like that. Like a bunch of fighting. It could have been, and it came up under the fool card. So you and this person, this person could feel like a fool for fighting with you. They could feel like a fool for fighting with you over something. Okay. And then we have the nine of cups. The nine of cups is about some sort of some sort of dream coming true. This person, you having what you need. She's smiling. She feels good. She has, she's like content. She's like, you know what? She knows like her legs are crossed. She has that little, like a nice little smile on her face. You know, her arms are, she's like, she knows what she has heard. She is just like, yeah, my dreams came true. Boom. Yes. Seven of swords. But even though your dreams came true, you could still not trust this individual due to what happened. You may still feel like this is somebody I can't really trust. You know, um, an Aquarius could have played a role in this. 
that yeah, this person had you feeling left out in the cold. But you could have also been worried about like money or something like that. Like just worried, be maybe you helped them out and you really couldn't afford to. Um, and so, it, but it's saying something about you can start worrying because you're worrying unnecessarily. And um, something is coming in like you are you have other offers coming in or something that you did in the past is about to manifest itself back into your life. So you have some good karma coming in. Things are being made right. Then you have the eight of wands. So Pisces, did you step off on this person? Did you go on in a different direction on your own journey? Something that they weren't ready for? And then we have the four of pentacles in reverse. So you could have, you could have um, been being sort of like maybe reckless with your money um, or with your time helping someone, but you're, you could have been in that energy where you weren't being as smart as you should have been um, concerning your finances or some sort of abundance in your life. And then we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So if you... If you haven't walked away from something, it looks like you want to or um, or either you like you kind of want this person back or in some sort of way, like you want them to come back to you or you want to go back to them. Spirit, what would you like for us to know? Spirit, what would you like for us to know? What would you like for Pisces to know about Pisces person, spirit, what would you like for Pisces to know about Pisces person? What would you like for Pisces person to tell us? This the this is the Queen of Wands in reverse. Mm -hmm. So this person could have actually had you feeling like you were um you were not as valuable to them as you really were. You know, they could have been trying to, you know, they and they feel foolish because all of the reverse cards, most of these, like the Queen of Wands, Five of Wands, and the Fool card, all are reversed and all came up, came under each other. Mm -hmm. So this person could feel like a fool for causing so much confusion and arguing and conflict, pretending like you wasn't who you were to them, like not letting you know that you know, you were a real queen, like treating you like, you know, that you, you meant something to them. You were valuable. Your, your opinion and feelings counted. Then we have the chariot card. So you definitely could have just went on and rolled out and made some different choices. And something that you did in the past is coming back. Some sort of hard work that you kind that you um, invested in, something that you invested in, it's going to come back and it, you're going to reap the rewards of that. It could also bring you some sort of public recognition, too. And then we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So you could have been feeling betrayed at one time by this person, but it looks like you moved on from it. You could have been like, okay, you know what? I'm done. Like, I'm done. I'm getting up. I don't have time to be laying here. Let me take these swords on my back. She's still looking on her phone, though. You see that, right? She's still looking on her phone. Like, it's not like she's, she's you know... She's wounded, but she can get up, pull them swords out, and keep it moving. You understand what I'm saying? So, yeah. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Mm-hmm. So, Pisces, you may have lost some money due to this situation. You could have lost some sort of abundance due to dealing with this person, due to helping them so much, or um, you could have lost a lot of time, felt very betrayed. Spirit, would you like for us to know? Spirit, what would you like for Pisces to know about their person? Spirit, what would you like for Pisces to know about this person? Spirit, what would you like for Pisces to know about their person? Queen of Cups. This is how this person saw you, always willing to give to them, always willing to self-sacrifice, always willing to step up to the plate to kind of like help them out when they needed something. And I don't think that they were, that was reciprocated. I don't think that they really gave back to you the way that you need to, you needed to be given back to um, the kind of love that you needed back from them. But look at how she's sitting in front of the sea. So yes, you may have given away your cups, but you can always refill them cups because you have abundance sitting right there in front of you in the form of water. You understand what I'm saying? Like, so if you pour, if you poured your water, Water out of your cup into their cup you pour it and look you can pour it 15 20 times you're still going to be replenished because you have abundance now you could have put you could have left this person after going through all of this and put yourself in a better predicament 
you're wiser now. You're more sure of who you are and what you need to do. So you're not back in a place of lack and feeling like this. You know, in the reverse, you're here. You're like, okay, the swords can fall out. You can get up, stand up, and move on with your life. Yeah. Spirit, what would you like for us to know? That the world, the world card. Things are turning around. So if this individual was doing this to you, um, could have been an Aquarius, Scorpio, Capricorn, or um, Leo. Mm -hmm. If this person was doing this to you, and um, and things were things are turning around though. Spirit, what would you like for us to know? So you definitely don't have to. Yeah, you had to bring some sort of balance in your life. Your ba your life wasn't. It was off balance. She is working them. I love them heels. And I love, oh my God, that little dress. It is so cute. It's like an olive color. I love that. Or like a, a cute, to me, it looks sort of olive. But anyway, it's, it's cute. But yeah, your life could have been off balance due to this person. The relationship was off balance. Mm -hmm. but, I, but Pisces, I see you knowing, like, knowing your worth or something. Again, everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Yeah, this person really betrayed you. And they could have used numerous people to do it too. Mm-hmm. But they feel like a whole plum fool. They don't even feel right because of what they... They know that they betrayed you and caused unnecessary um, bickering and arguing in your life. Like conflict. And they also know that you don't trust them. They also know that they left you out in the cold. Mm-hmm. After you gave to them, gave to them, gave them your time, you know, attention, whatever. They know that they what they did was wrong. Yeah. The swords of, I mean, the three of swords in reverse. Yeah. This could have been a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra that was involved in this. But it looks, you see how it's upside down? Those swords are coming out, baby. Yes. So that hurt that they caused you. Either you're over it, you moved on from it, or either... um. You are, you know, you are moving on. Either you've already moved on or you're moving on. Because it looks like you're, them swords coming out. Mm -hmm. So what they did, they really in an in energy where they, they got to be worried about getting hurt themselves now. Because that's karma. And it looks like you're in a totally different energy though. It looks like that you, after going through all of that, you're in a totally different energy. Things are actually turning around for you. Yeah. Six of wands. Mm-hmm. They could have, people could have even been celebrating this person doing you like this, like you leaving and things like that. You were, you were moving on so you can go on with confidence and, and build yourself back up, knowing where you're going, um, knowing what you want. And in the background, people are, if you can see in the background, they're actually, you know, roots, like she's holding it up. Like she, you know, like if you watch some of those, like, um, movies about like kings or queens i forgot what they call them but when they leave they'll like hold up some like their swords or something and it's like to show that person respect and honor or something so these people could have been happy that you were leaving this person could have been i'm not this person but either he he or she could have had people around them supporting this person like doing you a certain way um so you would leave. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Spirit, what would you like for us to know? Spirit, what would you... Because this person now could be the one that's feeling betrayed. This individual could now be telling, like, you know, like, why y'all advise me to do that to this, to this Pisces? Or, you know, like, really upset about the decisions that they made. They could be feeling betrayed by the people that's around them and could be really bickering with these people now. Mm hmm. Yeah, because your confidence is up. Your confidence is where it is right now. Look at her. She is a she's a thick woman. Um, This could be a thick woman who this happened to. But she is she has no problem with standing in the nude and letting them draw her. And it's numerous people there. It's not just one person there like they're in a the room alone. She's totally OK with who she is. You know, so and that that's confidence right there. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. So um, 
Let's see. Yeah, it looks like you had, like you went through it <laughs> for this individual who was just kind of like, just really immature, just very immature, you know, super childish. But that's okay, because you definitely have new options coming in. And again, the Three of Swords card came out. Yeah, this person could, this person now could be very heartbroken over the fact that you all aren't, they're looking back at the situation and how they handled things, how they handled you, how they handled the relationship, how they weren't being honest with you or taking you for granted. And now they could be very heartbroken about this, about how they, they know what they did was wrong and they, and they feel very foolish. They feel very foolish. They could have chosen an Aries, Sagittarius, or a, um, a Leo over you. Or had you in a third party with like a fire sign, because the fool card represents the fire sign. I mean, represents an Aries. But yeah, that Aries energy. Mm -hmm. So this could have been a person who had you in a Aries in, in a third party and chose the Aries over you. Thinking like, oh, this person is more fun. They're more lively. They're more, you know, whatever. And now, but, you know, they could be feeling like, oh my God, what did I do? Why did I make that choice? Like, I'm not even happy where I am. Like, but my Pisces has moves, moved on. And so now they're looking back and they feel foolish about the decision that they made. This is a person who they, to the public or to other people, this Aries could have looked like a better, a better choice. And because this person loves so much attention and cares so much about what the public think, they went along with what other people told them to do, opposed to going with what their heart told them. But now they're regretting it because things aren't working out between them and, and this person. Whoever this was, who they chose over you, things aren't working out. They could feel trapped now. They could feel like this is something they want to get out of, a situation that they just cannot get out of and they don't know how to get out of it. And um, they feel trapped. They're trying to get some information about you. Trying to figure out how they can get out of this situation that they're in. And how they can come back in to get a, get a situation going with you. They, they could be spending a lot of time alone. Trying to reflect on what decisions they made and what they did. Trying to find some sort of answers to things. Ace of Swords. Mm -hmm. They could be looking to sever ties with this person in some way to cut everything off. Because mm -hmm. they're feeling betrayed right now. Yeah, I can see it. They're feeling real betrayed. They recognize like all that. They, it's like, you know how you, you get away from a person and then you start to think about, like you had time to kind of think about things in detail. That's where they're at. They're, they're at a place where they're thinking about what they did to you in detail and all you've done for them in detail. And it's just like, they're looking at the person who they chose over you with regret. Like, this is what I chose over Pisces. Like, what in the world was I thinking? And now they want a family with you. They want a home. They could possibly want to live together with you um, and have children with you. Because they look at you in an ab as abundance and having everything that they need. And they regret the fact that they did so much, cause so much fighting with you. They could be fighting with these other people now who, who they feel like played a role in telling them to choose that other person over you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they, they're looking at you in this energy now, walking away and not coming back. This could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They're looking at you like Pisces can't, the Pisces don't even want me no more. Pisces then walked away, don't even want me no more. Knight of Wands. I'm telling you, they want to come back in. They want to celebrate with you, but they could still have this third party in a picture that they haven't quite gotten rid of yet. They still want, they, they, well, they want to come in. Knight of Cups and offer you something. They want to come in and offer you something. But be careful, Pisces, because if this person wasn't being honest from the beginning, I don't see them being too honest now. It's still something. This third party, I think, is still there, and they're still trying to figure out how to get this third party away from them so they can come back to you. Because mm -hmm. it looks like they thought the green, the grass was greener on the other side, and the green grass turned out to be football turf. 
It wasn't even real grass. You understand what I'm saying? It wasn't even a real one. They left a real one for a fake one. And now they want to come back to the real one with that fake energy on them. And I would, I would just kind of like watch that. And then we have the Justice card. In reverse. So they're feeling like things are unbalanced in their life. And they are looking for justice for things that have, um, for the decisions that they made. And again, like I said, they could be very upset with the people around them. They could feel like the people around them advised them, um, intentionally advised them wrong about who to choose. Because they're looking at you like, this person did did everything that I wanted them to do. Like they, they brought everything to the table that I, I actually wanted. Why did I leave them? You know, just for fun, just to have a party, just to have, you know, a good time. This could be a good time, boy. <laughs> I don't know why that sounds so funny to me. But this <laughs> this could be a good time um, guy or a good time girl. I'm telling you, somebody who loved that. They love having that sword in different places or they love people coming to play in their lake. I'm trying to tell you. Mm. So, yeah, but they were they trying to figure out a way to come back and to offer you something. But again, Pisces, be careful about that because this person's still hiding something. They could feel they could feel real trapped by their situation and mad at the people around them. And they're looking at some somebody to bring them some sort of peace and balance and abundance back into their life. They missing you, Pisces. They missing you bad, too. Then we got the Queen of Wands in reverse. They could they they felt like they had <laughs> they thought they was choosing a queen over you or a king over you, and they found out that they had a peasant. Mm, 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 mm. Spirit, what would you like for us to know? Spirit, what would you like for us to know? They found out they had a real peasant, five of wands. What I tell you, it's a lot of bickering where they at right now. That person they chose over you is a nightmare to them now. They they feel like they in a daggone nightmare. The moon card, mm-hmm. They were trying to be sneaky and hide something from you. And now they sitting back feeling like, you know, they made the wrong decision. And then the five of cups in reverse. Mm -hmm. This person could be feeling like hell, feeling like the, all of the cups. You see how the cups are laying down and with the reverse, the cups is nothing left. Is nothing left. It ain't even, it ain't even upright where it's some freaking, you know, some still in the cups. It's in a damn reverse. All of everything is spilled out. Mm -hmm. The ace of wands. Yeah. This for they want to come back in, Pisces. They I don't know if you want to accept it, but they do want to come back in and offer you some. They are not happy with the decisions they made, and they are fighting. And I don't know whether it's a physical fight, but they are literally having some sort of issues with the person that they chose over you. They are having major issues. It's a lot of arguing and bickering and confusion going on there. Mm-hmm. And they feeling like they made the wrong decision. They feel so betrayed right now. And they, they could be blaming everybody but themselves too. Six of wands. Mm -hmm. What I say? Somebody, they, they, they could be coming to you and people now, because they're, because they didn't blame so many, they bickering with people. They feel betrayed because they feel like people advise them in the wrong way on how to go against you. So they could have been constantly complaining to these people and they like, okay, well, you let Pisces go. You was complaining about Pisces when you had him. You didn't treat them right when you had him. You wind up letting Pisces go. Now you can't stop talking about Pisces. Please go get your damn Pisces and leave us the heck alone. Keep this like, we don't even want to be a part of it now because you're blaming us no matter what. This is what I'm telling you. This person is blaming people around them because while you were there, they when they had a choice to choose between you and somebody else, these people told them to choose the other person because in the public eye they look better together maybe it's something about your size maybe it's something about your height maybe it's something about the kind the money the person had more money than you or i don't know something about people telling them people around them they they went to other people for advice and people around them told them to choose the other person over you and it turned into a day of disaster <laughs> 
And now they're upset. And the people are like, well, why did you even come to us anyway and ask for our advice? If you miss a Pisces that bad, go get Pisces. And then the temperance card. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this is this puts me in the mind frame of um, uh, uh, Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Just getting that knowledge. This person wants some information so they can figure out how they can come back into you. They're going to come back to you. They're trying to figure this out. Crying over what they lost with you. Feeling like a complete fool. Choosing the wrong person. Having you in a third party situation. Keeping secrets. Left had you feeling left out in the cold. Could have been lying about why they needed help, money, or whatever. Spending it on somebody else. Yep. Queen of Cups. That's This is how they see you. This Queen of Cups, they know that you were the right one for them, Pisces. They know it. And they they don't, they in their mind, you're not even going to be helping them like how you used to it. Or they worry that you're not going to come back like how you, you know, came. Like how if you do come back, you're not going to be the same person, the same giving, loving you know, self-sacrificing person. So, and then we have the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, so with the Page of Pentacles, Pisces, they see you in that way. And the world card again. I'm telling you, something is changing. This person also could be, could have purchased a new car or want to purchase you a new car or you could be purchasing a new car. Something where they can get to you. They want to come see you, Pisces. They want to see, they want things to change between y'all. Two of Cups. They want, they, I'm telling you, Pisces, they trying to get back in there. They trying to get in, in that warmness. <laughs> they are. Page of Wands. Mm hmm Yep. They trying to get back in your in your good graces. And they're, they're, they could be talking to these people and trying to be optimistic about how things will work out. Like, I know Pisces love me. They're trying to wish you back into their life. Um, but something about you, like, has changed, though. It's not the same. Like, you, you know, you're looking at what you have now, and it may be better than what you had before with this person. And so you... Okay, because we have the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is about a wish coming true. And we have this on the board twice. So some sort of wish coming true for you. And you could have gone through a really serious tower moment after um, this happened, like after this breakup happened. But it made you better for it because it you have a wish coming true. You got some sort of wish coming in for you, Pisces. Mm -hmm. You got some sort of wish coming in and at the bottom of the deck we have the sun card some sort of success yeah so pisces i'm going to end the reading there i hope you really enjoyed this um don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section okay i'll talk to you soon bye